some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fairbanks, Alaska, with News Now Alaska and Dumbass Elmo as they attempt to gain entry into a correctional facility, but uh, they ultimately fail. But not before they uh, are disorderly. Disorderly. Yeah, that way. So anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Us. Well, gee, dude, I wonder why they would have cameras in a correctional facility. Oh, could it be because it's a high security area that they don't want jackasses like you wandering around? Oh, gee, I wonder if that could be it. Did they not open this? Okay. If you need it says, assistance, it says lobby or receptionist. Or physical access. You're up top of the door. Hey, dumbass Elmo, I got a question for you. What's the point of uh, going after a correctional facility anyway? Do you miss the good old days where you were uh, the low dog on the totem pole and ended up uh, washing Bubba's underwear? Because, well, I'm sure somebody can arrange that uh, trip down memory lane sometime soon, and you'll be right back where you started from. You know, it wouldn't be a dumbass Elmo video unless, well, he cried to the cops because somebody didn't uh, kiss his ass. And that's exactly what he's about to do. Because they didn't kiss his ass, he goes to the cops. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, dumbass. Go ahead and cry me a river and build a bridge over it. Is that like a law? No, I didn't even see that. Got a glare on it. Uh, yes, dumbass Elmo. That is their policy and it is enforceable by the law. You want to know why, dumbass Elmo? Because it's a high security facility and they don't want people breaking out because of dumbasses like you. I don't see an AS attached to it, so it must just be policy. Well, now I don't want. Now I want to do a complaint. Yeah, they think they could just be like, "You're not going to come in," and then they tell people when they come in, "You're not going to come out." <laughs> that's so funny. Open a door, bro. I mean, you guys can see that that's obviously a lobby. Look at the. Yeah, that's their lobby. I don't know. I don't even know why they got a lock chair like that. Of course, someone's walk up. It's the reception, bro. Guys, go to News Now Alaska. I just met this guy over here. During an audit. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. That it's awesome. Crazy. It feels real good to be here. Look at this beautiful view. Dumbass Elmo, and it's not exactly hard to figure out why they are not letting you in there. Uh, according to the policy, which I found easily on the Department of Corrections Alaskan website, 
shows that you are not allowed to film in there unless you have permission to do so, and that is backed up by uh, Alaskan law. A little longer than a few minutes later. My name is Investigator Mayfield, that's uh, number 545. We want to do public records and a complaint, and they're refusing to open the door and talk to us. Okay. Uh, what, jail. What, so what's going on? We just want to, we want to do a public records request and a complaint. And we need our pa paperwork, but they didn't even give us a chance of the other day. Well, you guys got to go to the front door here. You guys go to the front? No, I'm talking about the jail. Yeah, they have a re receptionist oh, in there. Oh, the jail? Oh. Yeah, there's a receptionist in there, and they won't, like... Yeah, I, I have no control over what goes on in the jail, man. Oh, yes, you do. Okay. You want, you're, you're the law enforcer. You take care of uh, protecting our rights. This is right next to your building. We're not asking for too much from you, brother. We yeah. just want yeah, you to no, be no, like, hey, I, no. we, they just need some paperwork. No, and that's I, I'm telling you right now, man, I have no control over what they want to do, who they allow in the building. I have no control over that. Yes, you do, because if they don't want somebody in the building, you're going to go over there and remove them. Uh, dumbass Elmo, that is nowhere near him can have a control over the building. The people over there still have control over the building. They just asked him, as a law enforcement officer, to remove the trespasser. Do you see how that works, dumbass Elmo? I mean, you're not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? Or put them in, give them their own personal room in there. It's funny because they don't want us in there, but they, they don't want people to leave. Or which one is? Yeah, yeah. They don't want people to leave, or they don't want people to come in. Because we're the ones that finance this entire operation, and we all we're all we're asking is to do official business. They're gonna call the police if we don't leave. So. Which is you guys, right? What's that? If they call the police, that's you guys, right? Or is that Palmer PD? It's gonna be either or. One of us, yeah. Okay, okay. So why would you show up if you have no control? Well, no, what I'm saying is if, if they say that you guys can't go in, if you guys can't go in... You guys will go by that. No, I, I'm saying that I have no authority to overrule what they say. You do. You're a I, police I officer. You, you, I don't. You, you have to protect our rights. They, are, yes. they have to be open and ready for service. So we are, if they're not doing that, they, they don't have the right to refuse service. That's the thing. That's not Walmart or any, uh, your local convenience store. Mm -hmm. You know, where they put the sign, we have the right to refuse service. That doesn't work here, brother. We well, this goes on for a while longer until a lieutenant arrives and agrees to file a FOIA request for them. But you know what? They still don't go into the correctional facility because, you know, that would go against the uh, Department of Correction policy that I pointed out earlier about the media. Oh, boy, dumbass Elmo. Uh, could you do one thing for me, pretty please, and actually look up these laws that uh, you try to violate on a daily basis? Or is that just too much to ask out of you to at least to do the slightest bit of rigorous research? Uh, yeah, I guess it would be. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?